Hi everyone, it's Carlin from the Zapier team. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Automate by Zapier power-up for Trello. Um, the cool thing about this power-up is that you can harness the power of Zapier, which is a workflow automation tool, without ever leaving your Trello board. So right now I am logged into Trello, as you can see. I'm on a board that I currently use to keep track of feedback from our customers and then pass it off to the appropriate team. So the first thing I'm going to do to use this power-up is go over to the right-hand uh, menu bar, show menu, and click on the power-up option. Here you'll see automate by Zapier, and I'm gonna enable that. Um, once I've done that, you'll be able to see automate by Zapier here on your Trello board. This means that you can set up zaps, AKA connections, between Trello and 750 other business tools. So you might use Slack, you might use MailChimp, you might use Gmail, you might use Evernote. There are literally hundreds of tools that you can connect Trello to via Zapier. And now you don't even have to uh, leave your Trello board to you know, set up those automations. So what we really want you to do here is uh, work more efficiently and more productively. And we're gonna show you how to do just a couple examples of how to do that today. So the first thing I'm gonna click on is Automate by Zapier. And uh, up pops a, a pop-up here that I can sign up to Zapier or I can authorize my existing account. Um, so I already have a Zapier account, but if you don't go ahead and sign up, I'm going to go ahead and authorize. It's going to pop up here, um, and just ask me if I want to connect Trello to my Zapier account. Um, so now pops up like our Zapier dashboard. Uh, what that shows is any current, uh, Trello zaps I have that are connected to this particular Trello board. So right now, as you can see in this top, um, section here, I already have a zap created that is attached to this board. So anytime I add a new card to this particular Trello board, it sends me a Slack message. So that's what Zapier is already doing. So this is cool. You can see, you know, what Zapier is doing to this board behind the scenes. Um, in this second section here, it shows you a bunch of suggestions for um, popular zaps you can use um, for this Trello board. So. I'm gonna go ahead and create one of those. Um, I'm gonna use this um, create Trello cards from new type form entries. So right now how I'm adding cards to this board is manual. So every time I get new feedback from a customer, I manly, manually type it into these Trello cards. I wanna automate that so that when the customer fills out a type form with their feedback, it's gonna automatically create a card on this Trello uh, board. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, click this one and it will take us to the editor, the uh, setup process here. So this is our zap editor. It's already a pre-made zap. So um, it shows us the first step of the zap, which is type form, and the second step of the zap, which is Trello. So I'm gonna go ahead and create this. Um, and this is gonna trigger the zap anytime there's a new entry in this type form. Go ahead and click continue. And I've already connected my type form account to Zapier. So I'm gonna go ahead and test that and continue. I'm going to select which form I want to uh, select. So I made a test form here for our, that's capturing our customer feedback. That's the form that whenever people fill it out, it's going to add a card to Trello. So I'm going to push continue and it's going to um, pull some sample data just to make sure um, that everything's working. So it's going to, Zapier is going to use this sample data to create a test card in Trello now. So we're going to go ahead to the Trello um, step of the Zap. So anytime a new entry is created in type form, it's going to add a new card to Trello. So I'm going to continue here. I've already connected my uh, Trello account and it knows that. So um, tested it, all looks good. I'm going to continue to the next step. And it already knows which board I'm on here. So it knows that I'm on my feedback from customers. So you can just leave that as is. This is the custom ID uh, for the board. So you can leave that as it is and it's asking you when Zapier creates that new uh, Trello card, what list do you want it to go in? So I'm gonna put it in the review because every time I get new feedback, I wanna review it and then I'm gonna manually like move it along my board later on. Um, what do I want the card to be named? So I want it to be named uh, new feedback from, and then I put the, uh, the person's email address who just submitted the uh, feedback. And then the description, so that will be, um, for now, I'll just put this in here. So it's uh, how, how likely are you to recommend us to a friend or colleague? And I'll put the answer to that here. So we're going to go ahead and push continue. It's going to create a test uh, card here on this exact Trello board. So create and continue. And as you can see over here in this left-hand column, it 
it just created a new card right here in this review list, new feedback from carlin.sack at zapier.com. So it said our test was successful, as we can see. We're gonna finish and make sure to uh, turn the zap on. So by turning the zap on, that's gonna capture all new type form entries and send them to this exact Trello board. So now you can see that zap I just built, that is a uh, create uh, Trello cards from new type form entries. That's now here in this top section that shows all the Trello zaps that I have connected to this board. If I ever wanna go turn it off or edit it in any way, like maybe I wanna rename it, I'm gonna go ahead and click that. Um, I can click this little sidebar here and just do um, sending customer feedback to Trello. That's what I'm gonna name it. And actually like, let's say I don't need to use this anymore, but I might wanna come back to it next week. I'll turn it off. Um, and then it's always going to sit there um, and, uh, you know, I can go back and turn it on at any point. So um, as a review, now you can see our, uh, our uh, zap is off here. Um, so we have one zap that's on, one zap that's off, and plenty of new suggestions for zaps to create. So that in a nutshell is uh, how to use Automate by Zapier Power Up.